Okay, what's up guys? Isman20 here, just going to talk about my weekend at Push Culture Family Picnic. Uh, you know what, a lot of people are going to say, you know, in a, in a, they'll give you the short version or they'll give you the long version. And I'm not here to give you the short version. I'm going to give you the long version. Not too long. I'll try and keep it under five minutes. I mean, that's not too much. If you're hardcore and you want to know about the most rad and awesome hardcore and really frightening <laughs> uh, event that has happened so far this year, uh, East Coast, probably, yeah, definitely probably West Coast also, you know. It was nuts, dude. There was... I think there was close to 60 people who signed up. Only... Maybe only 40 or 50 showed up. I mean, I think that there was enough. We had two trucks and like two shuttles like so there's actually I think there's four vehicles to take people up we squeeze everybody into one that's fine body heat We jammed everybody into one vehicle, uh, one van, you know, just, you know, for, for, if for no other reason but to keep warm. Got there, temperature's like 40-something, I mean, I don't remember exactly, but at one point it definitely was below freezing. Uh, as the day went on, it got colder and colder. It rain turned into sleet and hail, then it turned to snow, then the snow accumulated, some of it still melted, so there's slush, kept snowing, the snow landed on your board, that snow would turn to ice, so then you had ice on your board, then you skated on a board full of ice down a road full of slush, while it's snowing, on a really awesome road. Uh, I didn't get to do any footage. It was just too dangerous on day two. I was going to film on day two. Day one, I got five or six runs, I believe. I did three stand-up, three buttboarding. Discovered I really like buttboarding a lot. It was fun. I mean just going faster than you usually are going to be doing standing up, but standing up is definitely a more athletic thing to do, so I'm going to do that. A lot of people were there, you know, there's a lot of family togetherness. I felt like there was a lot of uh, getting to know each other and getting uh, just uh, acceptance. There was a lot of acceptance. Um, and like reaching out and letting people uh, get to know each other. <clears throat> I think some boundaries were broken as far as the different crews that might have been there. I don't know, I've only been like involved in it for like two, three years, you know, not a lot, but I've been watching all the videos, so just watching all the videos kind of gives you a good idea of what's going on. And I think what's going on is that, you know, it turned into a family picnic. It's an event. It's called the family picnic. There's an understanding that if you are on a longboard or, or a skateboard, you're part of a family. You're, you have to stick together with those people. Because when you're out there by yourself, a lot of times you're by yourself. You know, and you're skating by yourself and you're trying to 
improve your style and your skills and then we meet together and it's like yeah you've been doing the same thing let's you know we're all of a sudden your kindred spirits even though you're by yourself someone else on another side of the world is skating doing the same kind of tricks doing the same kind of moves then you meet up with those people and you know what you have a lot more in common with them than you would think you know it isn't like so much of a competition on at a free ride so it was just like brotherhood you know you felt really safe i did i felt safe i don't know if anybody felt like they were uncomfortable or stuff or anything but i definitely didn't feel uncomfortable i felt like if i needed something somebody would abide and help me somehow you know i know that i tried to abide other people who maybe didn't have a place to stay or weren't sure where they were going to stay or didn't know where to go i tried to help them but always there is you know that little bit of uh unorganization that happens with skaters that don't really have you know organized team stuff you know a lot of sports have organized teams and there's always going to be an administration administration there's always going to be an administration a coach you know a director of athletics and all that stuff we don't really have titles like that i guess we just have you know, we know, you know who is who, you respect that person because you should respect them, but then you you really listen to people who have been there more than someone else. There's people there who I respect a lot, and I respect them because of the challenges that they go through. Being a skateboard sport is harder. It's harder to get uh, approval to do things. It's harder to get the arenas basically you know if you wanted to start a softball team guess what you could get a softball team started up within days but if you wanted to get a longboard crew to have a hill to skate every Saturday that's gonna be hard it's gonna be challenging it could take days it could take weeks it could take months it could take years to be able to do that because it just seems like everybody's your enemy in an event like the push culture family picnic it was good. It was like heaven, dude. It was like heaven. You know, nobody was staring at you, wondering what the heck you're doing on the road, on a skateboard. You know, are you crazy? This is a hill. No, we all knew that. We all knew we could handle it in one way, shape, or form. And after five or six runs, I think that, you know, it, it ended up pushing us to a whole new level. It was amazing. You know, I definitely feel like I, got, I improved on just six runs. Ooh. It's worth it. It was worth the money. It was worth the drive to meet the people, to get to talk to people that I've never gotten to talk to, maybe met them on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. It was worth it. I'd do it, I'd do it again just for, just for six runs. I'd do it tomorrow. But next year, be better. Won't snow, won't rain, Chrome's guarantee you that. It's gonna be fun. You know, <laughs> it was pretty cold. So, thanks for your time.